All right, top secret this week. First up, Lady Ada, is uh, two leaks that you sent over. One of them I'm going to post up, uh, but one of them we already did. So what's yeah. this one first? This is the MMC5883 magnetometer. So at first I thought this was like HMC5883 compatible, but it turns out it's only pin compatible, but it's still kind of a cool little magnetometer. So I whipped together a uh, breakout for it and uh, we're in a library. Cool. And then what's this? This is the LTC4311. So this is interesting. This is an active Terminator, which uh, the whole word would not fit. This is, I guess it's like Terminator 2 you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. So this is an active Timely. Terminator. And very timely. Um, so you actually... Uh, it's, detailed it's, files. It's not a level shifter. You actually plug it in at the end of your long I squared C string. And it, um, like, it's an active slew, like, turner honor. So when it detects that the SCL or SDA line is being pulled high through, like, the pull-up... Even if there's a massive capacitor on the line because you have like a huge long cable, um, it'll it'll actively pull it up for you. It kind of does this smart little thing. Um, so you can use this for very long, high capacity, like 40,000 picofarad uh, capacitance I squared C runs. Um, so I'm gonna prototype this, send it out, get it back, and I'm gonna try like connecting a 100 foot cable to I squared C and see what happens. Like does this yeah, work? Cool. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, and then we have a little video that we shot. This was the solar thing we're working on. See you on the other side. What is this? Here comes the sun. Testing out a solar charger. Got the solar panel. Sun's right out here. And when I put the solar panel out in front and checks out my USB DC solar LiPo charger that I'm designing and upgrade to the previous version. This one's a little nicer, has USB C in. And then I'm plotting the power on this clue. So you can see in this case, I'm getting 2.1 watts out, which isn't bad, it's a five watt panel. You usually get about half the wattage uh, when you convert to LiPo charging. So, so far so good. Thank you, Mr. Sun. All right, next up on Top Secret, what's this? Okay, so the story behind this is, is long, but worth it. So on. this is CID 5000. This is like an incredibly old uh, component. Um, this is an 800 by 480, 3 by 5, uh, 3.5, um, sorry, let me hit the autofocus. 3.5 uh, diagonal screen, which is used for like cell phones and stuff. And my TFT supplier said, oh, you know, I know you've been looking for 800 by 400 uh, displays in, in smaller sizes. And they sent me over this display. And I was like, oh my God, this will make such a cool like Raspberry Pi hat. And um, I even like designed, you know, this kind of like add on hat with the display and like I made a little breakout to help me prototype it. And like the sad thing is like I know exactly when I started this project because I've got the, uh, the DigiKey bag and it was four years ago. Um, but since I'm stuck at home now. We will get to. I will get to. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's only been like a year or two. Now it's been a quite a long time. Um, and, and since then, you know, there's been, like, a whole bunch of um, display hats that use the DPI technique. Uh, you know, like, I started with the Keepa, like, also, like, five or six years ago. Um, but, like, Hyperpixel came out, and I was like, well, I guess I don't have to do this. But then, um, it also didn't like the screen. There was, it had some blurriness to it that I didn't like. But then I found another supplier of a really nice uh, TFT screen. Again, 800 by 480 with a DPI interface. I was like, ah, you know what? Maybe, like, I'll try this again. So... Um, over the weekend, um, turns out that this screen has the same pinout as like a standard uh, 4.3 or 5 inch TFT display, which is kind of sweet. So you can just use like a, these breakouts we have in the shop. And then um, I have a trinket over here that is uh, sent the SPI wow. commands turned on. And it just turns it into a little uh, live screen. So I got this working on a breadboard. And I'm going to try to revive this project. Um, Maybe I'll have like seesaw connectivity and of course I'll like stomach QT connectors. This is cool. But yeah, what's really nice is this is like a very um, wide angle. I mean, these IPS screens are so inexpensive. So like when I got this screen, it was like, you know, 10 bucks a piece. This one's like four um, and incredibly cheap and you can get capacitive touch on them and stuff. So this is a really cool display. Um, so now that I have a good supplier of these, uh, I hope to do more with them. And uh, yeah, this is just the Keepa code, but instead of having it on a, a keep I have it wired up to this TFT. Okay. And with that is top secret. Cool.